the last month and a half, it became hard to enter Twitter and Facebook. My feed was full of hateful comments. People are hiding behind keyboards and saying really rough things. And we thought that maybe there's a way to change the way that we talk about this. We used a slogan, Jews and Arabs refuse to be enemies, which is actually used in Israel for years in Hebrew. We wanted to use the same slogan and to internationalize it. Having a respectful debate can be a more productive way to utilize social media than to say basically rude things to each other The hashtag rang a, a huge bell with me because I share both heritages. Mother is a British Jew, my father is a Palestinian Muslim. This is the first time that I've seen others who feel the same way. Suddenly I didn't feel as if I was the only voice in a lonely room. I just wrote that my mother is Jewish and my dad is Muslim and that how can I be enemy of myself? It's a political problem, it's a territorial problem. This hashtag is absolutely not going to change the world, but what it does do is give airtime to that connection and, and to that desire. And what could possibly be wrong with that at this moment in time? It's to pretend that Arabs and Jews are natural enemies, that it is inevitable that they will fight. We know the limitations of a social media campaign. We know the limitations of a hashtag. Tweet doesn't have to be the only thing that someone does. And we want to believe that from the bottom up, hate and the dialogue and the way people talk to each other can change. And maybe that will also change policy eventually. We had a photo that someone sent to us from Tel Aviv from the bomb shelter. It was a sign of Jews and Arabs refused to be enemies. For me, that sums up a lot. Deaf people have begun tipping water over their heads. To be honest, I did find out recently that one of those images are from Syria. I am 21 years old and I'm a blogger on YouTube. 